two hours northeast of Las Cruces by way of Cloudcroft and onto US 82 East and Forest Road 63, you will reach the National Solar Observatory, also referred to as Sunspot. Perched high in the Sacramento Mountains, the magnificent skies of this region provide excellent transparency for observation of the sun. I was able to take a tour with astronomer Han to get a better sense of the work they are doing here. So this is the Grain Bin Dome. Uh, it houses the first telescope that was put on the site here to, okay. to test its uh, um, properties as a potential solar observing site. So this site originally started at the end of the 40s as a, an uh, Air Force observatory. Okay. The Air Force is interested in what we call space weather, mm -hmm. the uh, effect of disturbances that come from the sun mm -hmm. uh, that affect the Earth environment. The reason this site was chosen as a potential uh, site for solar observing was twofold. Um, a, this is high in the mountains and we have clear skies right. and, and uh, not many clouds. And B, this site really overlooks white sands and back then in the end of the 40s, they just started launching some of the rockets that they had captured at the end of World War II from the uh, Germans. Mm -hmm. And so this site was chosen because of its uh, vantage point over White Sands. And back then they, they needed a quick solution for uh, housing for a telescope. So right. they ordered the grain bin, uh, literally from the, the Sears catalog and, <laughs> and put it here, put a slit in, wow. in the top and the side so that they can point the telescope at the sky. And right. that was a good solution for the back then. The, the humble beginnings. It's so humble, so let's, yes. let's keep let's on going to okay. see how it evolves. I'll show you the rest, yes. So this is the uh, Evans facility. An instrument like this mimics the action of uh, what happens during the solar eclipse ah, when okay. the, the, uh, the moon uh, moves exactly in front of the sun and right. blocks the very bright disk and allows you to see the uh, the corona, the very faint corona. And looking at this one compared to the big it's, one, it's like worlds apart. It's, it's a very, diff <laughs> very different instrument, yes, right, yes, right. yes. Towering above the other facilities on this mountaintop is the largest and certainly the most visually impressive of their instruments, the Richard B. Dunn Telescope. Wow, this thing is huge. Yes. <laughs> This is a 300 tons of telescope that you're looking at. And uh, this is not all of the telescope. The telescope goes out, down into the ground twice as far as what wow. you see up here. This is one third of it. Yes. Yeah. Up on the top of the telescope, you have two mirrors that, that track the sun during the day, right. that point the light through the telescope down to the bottom of the telescope. And that forms an image at about this height of the observing table. And then we have uh, optics that distribute the light through the different instruments that are here on the table. Uh, measure the magnetic field and yeah. me me measure temperatures, velocities yeah. on the sun. That's crazy. Yeah. Talk about operating heavy machinery. This yes, is like yes, a this mega is mega machine. The uh, the very special thing of this telescope that this whole inner part of the telescope mm -hmm. actually floats. Wow. We have about eight tons of mercury in a basin at the top, and yeah. and the the whole inner part of the telescope floats in that and can therefore rotate very smoothly. The observatory is open from dawn till dusk. Though open year-round, be prepared to face winter driving conditions on curving mountain roads if you go November through April. With more limited hours, call ahead. This site is on forest service land and there are no gas stations nearby. Fuel up in Amagordo or Cloudcroft before heading up. And don't miss the chance to eat the best barbecue this side of the Texas state line at Mad Jack's Mountaintop Barbecue in Cloudcroft. Open Thursday through Sunday.